Blythe had a tough childhood. Her mom, Cecilia was physically as well as mentally abusive, and also emotionally distant. Cecilia herself was raised by a cruel, cold and mentally abusive mother, Blythe's grandmother, Etta. Despite the fact that Blythe had a tough childhood she was resolved to be the ideal spouse and the ideal mother. However, from the moment her daughter Violet was born Blythe battled to bond with her, and their relationship was additionally obstructed by Violet's troublesome temperament. What is more, as Violet got older Blythe turned out to be more and more worried by her little girl's withdrawals, crankiness, and absence of sympathy. Her better half got over her concerns since Violet has consistently been friendly towards him. Blythe felt so alone, tormented by sensations of guilt, regret and obligation. Is it accurate to say that she was a terrible mother or did she bring forth a monster? Ashley Audrain certainly doesn't keep away from handling some untouchable points and awkward circumstances, brace yourself for what I'm about to tell you. The push was intense, dull, hard-hitting, awful, severely legit and mentally upsetting. As an individual we battle to deal with the possibility of a mother not loving her kid, when truly it could happen to anybody. Society places pressure on women not exclusively to reproduce, but to be the ideal mother, consistently shuffling career, marriage, and youngster raising effortlessly. There is additionally the fundamental question of nature versus nurture. Was Violet the survivor of a mother's failure to interface with her, or were her qualities passed down from the ages of ladies who could not adore their offspring? Moreover, are malevolent individuals born, or made? The push likewise investigated the threats and harming impacts of relationships based on romanticized dreams on the grounds that once the initial passion, power, and captivation blurs and reality sets in, things can go pear-molded quick. Poor Blythe was starving for adoration and warmth and her inclination to please her husband was a factor that prompted her to be pressured into having a kid. With respect to the thrill ride part of the push, the most chilling minutes for me was the consistent thought whether Violet was really dangerous or if Blythe's strong dislike or disinclination towards child was the reason for her expanding distrustfulness. The two clarifications were similarly upsetting to envision. Was Blythe liable to hurt Violet? Might Violet actually hurt somebody? I was as eager and anxious as ever right to the unsettling last sentence. Lots of its portions helped me to remember the horror film Orphan, 2009, which I loved. Because of the sensitive nature of the subject, the push could be possibly set off for certain readers so approach with alert. This review will help you resolve whether this is the correct reading for you. I discovered some of the difficult spots however I do not regret reading it. Indeed, the push is presently in my top reading for the month. For a debut author, Ashley Audrain Shaw established a connection with me, 